Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Tristan. And I'm Emma. And in this video, we're gonna tell you the top products we recommend for long-term travel. But before we get started, we are on the beautiful Mekong River in Luang Prabang, Laos. It's definitely an underrated destination, so if you haven't checked it out, uh, it's uh, one of those up-and-coming countries in Southeast Asia. Uh, this list is based off of our travels. We have been on the road for about five months, uh, but we did try to consider what would be useful for everyone regardless of destination. Also, I'll make sure to put the links to each of these products in the description below. All right, so first on our list is a reusable water bottle with a filter. We both have a Hydro Flask bottle which keeps your water nice and cool um, and definitely is good for the planet. Inside though is a Epic water filter which is based from Boulder, Colorado. So these filters last about four months. So if you're gonna be on the road for longer than that, just make sure to bring a replacement. Uh, this is great because you can fill up with tap water anywhere in the world, thus saving you uh, lots of money, saving plastic, and in turn, saving the earth. Number two, it's gonna be vitamin C. This is gonna be crucial for you during long-term travel because you're constantly being exposed to new pathogens, new germs, and constantly in public transportation. So whether you're in an airplane with old recycled air or just in you know, a metro in Paris, you never know who's gonna to be touching uh, the railings. So this just helps your body build up the immune system that you need to make your long-term travel sustainable. All right, number three. This one might be a bit of a curveball, but Nescafe. So if you're anything like us and love your morning cup of coffee, maybe you're used to Starbucks or even a Keurig, um, that's really not sustainable when you're on the road. Uh, it's a lot of money to be spending on one cup of coffee per day. So what we found works is Nescafe. This is instant coffee. You can buy it anywhere around the world and all you need is hot water. So you can use this at hotels, hostels, Airbnbs, pretty much wherever you're gonna be staying. And we recommend the Nescafe Gold. That is gonna be the top tier instant coffee. So number four, a debit or credit card that has no foreign transaction fees or has ATM reimbursement. We opted to go with the Charles Schwab debit card. This has no ATM fees, or I should say, it reimburses you at the end of every month based on how much you've racked up from ATM fees. If you're traveling long term, you definitely don't want to be throwing money away every time you pull out uh, at an ATM, so this is going to help mitigate those uh, transaction fees. Alright, number five. This one might be pretty obvious, but it is a quality portable charger. Uh, you can buy these from pretty much anywhere, uh, mobile shops, Amazon, you name it. But um, you definitely don't want to travel, even any short term travel without this, because you don't want to be stuck um, you know, at an airport, in a random city, maybe where no one speaks English, uh, without your electronics. So this is a must have for any sort of travel. So the next one you won't be able to see, but number six is a portable camera or action camera. So I have the GoPro Hero 7 Black and it's perfect for capturing any sort of picture or video, travel video, vlogging like we're doing here. Um, I know Sony has another action camera that's really good um, and pretty comparable in price and quality. So definitely get one of those to capture the sick moments of travel. Number seven is a compression packing cube. So we bought the Gonex brand from Amazon and this is not your normal packing cube, which are also great, but we recommend this kind because it actually zips twice. So first it'll zip your clothes in, as Tristan is demonstrating, and then second, press it down a little bit and actually use the second zipper to compress further. This uh, enables you to fit more in your backpack, stay organized, and uh, it doesn't require any like sort of vacuum seal or anything like that. So we can't recommend these enough. It's been a lifesaver. So number eight is gonna be a rain jacket. 
You never know when you're going to get caught in a storm while traveling, especially if you're going across different climates. And a waterproof windbreaker is something that is crucial, especially in Southeast Asia, like where we're at right now. So I recommend the Patagonia one. This one actually folds into itself. cheaper ones on Amazon for about 20 to 30 US dollars uh, that also compress not quite this small but works just the same. And since you might not be using it all that often it's good to have one that doesn't take up too much space. All right so number nine is a antimicrobial quick drying towel. So these are you might not think you would want to pack these because you know most places you're staying at come with towels However, we have found that's not the case. Many hostels and even some hotels don't provide you with towels. So this is great after your shower. It's also great to bring to the beach um, since you probably don't want to bring, you know, your nice shower towels from a hotel to the beach. What's even better is it is quick drying. So you hang it up and, you know, like 20 minutes later it's dry. It's antimicrobial so it doesn't smell. You don't have to worry about any mold growing on it and it folds up nice and compact. Number 10, laundry pods. We didn't think we would need these at the beginning of our trip, nor did we really consider them. I know a lot of hostels and laundromats tend to give you laundry detergent. However, if you're staying at an Airbnb, they might not have laundry detergent for you to use. So it's always nice to keep these on you. Um, just put them at the bottom of your backpack or suitcase and fit in perfectly. Also, if you think you're gonna be holding on to them for a while, I recommend getting like the powder capsules versus the gel capsules to avoid them breaking in your bag. All right, number 11, another environmentally friendly one, is our trusty Aldi bag. Of course, it doesn't have to be from Aldi. Any sort of reusable bag is gonna be your best friend while traveling, um, whether you're going to get groceries, taking your clothes to a laundromat, or going to the beach. It's nice to have something more durable than just a plastic bag. Um, we got this, yeah, at the beginning of our travels and it's stayed with us ever since. Also in Europe, a lot of the grocery stores will charge you for uh, plastic bags. So it's great to bring your own, not only to save money, but also to save the environment. All right, so this last one's a little bit optional. Um, if yoga or fitness is important to you while traveling, I would definitely recommend this uh, Manduka travel mat. It is a little thinner than your traditional mat, as you can see but it's super durable, does the job, and actually folds up uh, into a nice little rectangle that Tristan will demonstrate. So it fits at the bottom of your backpack. Um, you really can't even tell that it's there, but I've used it in um, Airbnbs, parks, on the beach. It's perfect for just about anywhere, so I definitely recommend this one. So those were the top products we recommend to bring with you during long-term travel. We hope this makes it a little bit easier to plan for your next big trip. If you liked some of the products that you saw in the video, make sure to check the description. I'll put the link there to each of them. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome travel videos and more travel tips to come. Thank you for watching.